viewers and subscribers welcome welcome back to another video now it's a boy sae big up on yourself all right so coming up in today's video guys i know um i was browsing the internet and i found an article on the only cricket.com which was published before on the cricket boards you understand and they were basically saying that there's a threat um as regards to hosting the t20 world cup in the caribbean as the islam when call the is you know people threatening to really cause thorough you know since we are there threatening to bomb people you know they're threatening to launch um scale of attacks in the caribbean you know understand people and this coming from what afghanistan and pakistan branch people and, and and it's not a good sign ahead of the t20 world cup because we in the caribbean as we know guys we don't push those type of stuff you understand we fight against one another yes in a in a in a, in a gang and whatever but we don't terrorize people and, and and threaten them to bomb down them place and threaten them to cause you know you know people cause start panic we don't do those stuff even though we are a nation that bad in a sense everybody know that the countries enough of the caribbean countries have crime rate but we never go to the extent where we bum up each other and and, and, and and do all sort of crap and now we're hearing from Trinidad and Tobago Prime Minister Rowley, I think, um, basically saying that there's a threat. And then we hear from Cricket West Indies um, CEO Johnny Gray, who's basically saying that they have security measures in place to really combat this type of things. Because, you know, people, when they're hosting a T20 World Cup or any big event, you know, we need to have um security in in, in place that are really anticipated and expected. And so I'm saying anticipated and expected in a sense we are anything can happen guys so you have to prepare for everything and johnny grave was saying that he is fully prepared for it you understand so we don't have to worry about it but you know people it's still something that i thought i would just broadcast you guys and let you guys give your thoughts on it i'm going to let you hear exactly what they had to say but before we do so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on the post notification bell to be the first alerted whenever a new video is uploaded and don't forget we're on our way to 20,000 subscribers so without further ado people let's dive into what the short article said all right West Indies and high alert as Trinidad Prime Minister confirms terror threat to ICC T20 World Cup 2024 viewers and subscribers. Before I go into the video, I want to big up cricket. Oh, only cricket.com, guys. They're the one providing this article. And um, I'm going to quote it to you guys. I understand people because it's not looking too pretty because these people, we don't want this terror in the Caribbean because the Caribbean is a safe zone even though we have, you know, a war and so, but we don't do terrorist things like, like, like bomb up people and, and, and kill and threaten people to annihilate them. We don't do that in the Caribbean, but let's run through the little article. Right? And Cricket West Indies has acknowledged a security threat alert received with respect to the T20 World Cup set to take place in the Caribbean and the USA from June 1st to the 29th. However, Cricket West Indies has assured safety amid the security risk and mentioned that it will work closely with the island nations across the Caribbean to mitigate any such threat for smooth scheduling of the Marquine event. As per a Cricket Buzz report, you know guys, the threat came um, from Pakistan to the Caribbean islands with IS trying to incite violent and disrupt sporting events for the fulfillment of their agenda. Pro-Islamic um, state IS media source have launched campaigns inciting violence against sporting events which include video messages from the Afghanistan-Pakistan branch IS um, Kershan IS slash K, um, which highlighted assaults in numerous countries and urged supporters to join the battlefield to their countries. The security threat was quoted in the report. CWI um, CEO Johnny Grave assured the safety and security of the stakeholders at the D20 World Cup, saying that they have an elaborate security plan in place for the tournament. The report further stated that the intelligence of the security threat or threat came from IS propaganda channel Nasir e Pakistan. Um, the tournament is said to take place on six venue venues in the Caribbean, namely Antigua and Barbuda, Saint Lucia, Guyana, Trinidad, and Saint Vincent and the Grenadines, and Barbados, along with three venues in the USA, uh, and Dallas, Florida, and New York. The threat is limited to the Caribbean islands. 
The U.S. venue shared the hosting duties with the Caribbean island for the group stage features um, 20 teams in four re groups of five before um, the latter take over completely for the Super 8 and the semi-final. Um, Guyana and Trinidad will host the two semi-final um, on June 26 and 27 before the final in Barbados on the 29th. So, people, what's your take on it, people? Um, these people are getting too bold, you know. Um, they're trying to interrupt sports in event, but what's your take on it, guys? Not, nothing too really long, you understand? There's a little short video, but I'm not pleased to hear this news. You understand? Because... We don't support this stuff in the Caribbean, but you know what? Leave your thoughts down below as usual.